Oh, I don't know what to do anymore. Style is a hard thing to figure out. Now, as you can tell from all my videos and my posts on Instagram, my art style has changed a lot. I dabble in all different kinds of different techniques and whatnot from super realism to abstract. Now, no one says that you have to dedicate yourself to just one style of art or one technique or genre of art like abstract, contemporary, or surrealism. So I'm gonna be trying out a few new things today. Now this piece of art I did quite a while ago, but it's one of my favorites. I'm personally just a fan of something being so cute, but yet morbid with the needles and stabbing himself. But I kinda wanna change up the background. I wanna try out a new style for making my backgrounds. So I'll be using the famous palette knife today for the backgrounds and just kind of trying out some techniques. So feel free and join me on uh, this little trial. I'll give you as much tips and tricks or uh, kind of pointers that I can figure out as I do this. Well, I already quickly did a little sketch here. It took about half an hour, not too long here. This is my little reference, Stevie. He won't stop cleaning himself. Why don't you say hi, Stevie? Hello. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, go back to cleaning yourself. <laughs> it's just a quick little sketch of kind of a style that I was doing before. Kind of like the sad stuffed animals that are a little bit more on the emotional, depressed side. So I have a little razor blade there and uh, as you can tell, like, Stuff cat has cut himself. That's kind of what it's referring to. It is on the dark side, I know. But that's kind of what I really want to start expressing more in my paintings is the darker side of like some things. Even though this is cute and whatnot, it definitely is sad and dark. What I want to try and do is uh, a cool background, a new style of background with the palette knife. I'd really like to go for like a thicker coat in the background. Um, try and not mess too much with the paint, uh, the image itself, and just have a really nice, cool background. because if you guys don't already know me, I would say I'm a pretty big perfectionist when it comes to like my art and like making sure everything looks nice. Having kind of a textured background like this and still at some point you can see the back of the canvas or like a little bit of the canvas coming through. So 
a little bit irritating, but I'm gonna try my best to leave it and see how everything looks when it all comes together. So we do have the nice background all done. Like I said that you can still see some of the canvas coming through here. It's not 100% dry yet. I've been leaving it for a few hours here already. I'm now gonna start working on the character itself. And with the character, I'm gonna be rendering it super nicely. It is gonna stand out a lot from the background because the background's more textured. The character itself is gonna be a lot more polished and finished. Super excited to see how this is gonna turn out. Let's carry on with it. All right, I've done most of that outline there. So the next part is gonna be to add some color. I've decided to do the character purple. I feel like that I could do a wide range of purple. And plus with the background there, I think the purple would really stand out a lot. So <laughs> let's see how it goes. time now it's literally only four o'clock outside and look how dark it is it's crazy anyways I haven't worked on this painting in about five days I've been working on my last YouTube video which if you haven't seen that one already I'll leave a link to it up here in the show cards yeah, it's dark and cold and miserable outside and it's nice to be inside and be warm and painting you all can listen to nice music and enjoy watching this painting and maybe be painting yourself. Alright, let's carry on with it. Wherever you're going, I'm going to. I'll follow you through the black and the blue. Whatever the mountain will come to the Say 
you're afraid I wish you could see that I think you're brave And if it all falls If it all breaks still be here We'll fix these mistakes Wherever you're going I'm going to I'll follow you through the black and the blue Whatever the Okay, quick little thing here before we carry on with this time lapse here. I get this question a lot. How are you so good? How do you do that? You know what? The key is layers. Layers, 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 light source. And guess what? If you know what I'm gonna say next, please comment down below. Layers. Look at this. Right now, look at this. I'll zoom you in. Look at this right now compared to the top and bottom here. Normally, I don't just do the whole first layer as much as I'm doing, I usually keep working it. I want to show everyone how things look compared to the first layer and six to nine layers, I'd probably say I do. I'm gonna quickly walk you through and just show you. It's not like a tutorial or anything. I've, I've been trying to do more tutorial videos, but I found my videos are long enough already. If you do want to see more tutorials and ways that I paint, I'm just self-taught here. So I just kind of pick things up as I go along, you know, practice. So let me show you this. Okay, so my light source is at the top and then I'm coming down. So I know my shadows are gonna be here. I'm gonna quickly show you what I'm gonna do here. Do a quick little first layer here and then you can watch a time lapse and see how it progresses. Put some bright color right in here, right here, some bright color. We're gonna grab some white and literally just put some white over there. Some white and light purple right here. See, look at that. Just put it on just like so. Look at that. This is where light's going to hit here, right? Light's hitting here on the stomach as well. And the brightest spot that is going to be here is going to be right on the tip of this foot right here. This is where it's going to be probably the most bright right in there. And don't worry, just do layers and slap it on. Look at it. So give it a try and see how it works for you. I mean, this is just work what works for me. So try it out. Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain 
Well, take it in the view. You will find the life is greater than you knew. When you go through the storm, I will hold you, keep you warm. When you stay in the night, I will shelter. I will find. Tired. It's been long. Wow. We've been working on this for hours, not just hours, days too. But Stevie's here to make me feel better. Hey, right, poopy boy. He's a little sick kitty. So, this is coming along incredibly well, I think, in my opinion, there. Let me know what you think so far about this. I mean, we're pretty much almost done here. I'm a little bit nervous about doing some of these last detail things here. So I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. So what I'm thinking to do next is add some stitching, like for instance, coming around the head here, uh, down the nose. I'm going to do the stitching white. So come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river and get down on your knees. It is time. The time we've been waiting for. That's right. How do you wait to the end to do this? Because I wanted to see what the whole thing would look like when done before I added this little special thing. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now this here I picked up from Walmart. Funny enough, it is iridescent, but I feel like it would look really awesome in the eyes and look like those stuffed animals that have those nice big eyes that glitter that's kind of the effect that i want to go for with this obviously this is nothing like that i felt like i could do with the nice glittery eyes it's a dragonfly glaze let's see how well it works on its way out I wasn't sober and I was thinking out loud I spoke of your bravery your wit and 
much fighting Cause I was scared of it done this painting now. I'm super happy with how it turned out. It is now going to be going on my amazing wall of art here. Okay, so now that it's up there, you guys can all subscribe, please, if you haven't already, and leave a like, share it, you know, all that fun stuff. And remember, all my information and in social media is right here. Twitch, Instagram, I do all my updates here on Snapchat. So feel free and follow me on all my social media there. Thank you again, and I will see everyone next time. Oh, remember, stay ambitious. Okay, see you later.